Being in vet school is not easy. It is emotional, humbling, challenging, and you'll probably be in a lot of debt with very little sleep. Today, I plan to make your life a bit easier by sharing 30 free online resources for anyone studying in the field of veterinary medicine. I've spent weeks compiling an ultimate list of veterinary resources, but before I start with the educational ones, I want to draw your attention to mental health resources available for veterinary professionals. If you're experiencing anxiety, depression, and suicidal thoughts, please call VetLife at 0303-040-2551. VetLife is an independent, confidential, and free phone and email helpline for anyone in the veterinary community, including veterinary nurses and students. The friendly volunteers have experience of the veterinary profession and can listen to you when you're feeling overwhelmed. This service is available 24 hours a day, every day of the year. You can also call the National Suicide Prevention Lifeline at 1-800-273-8255 and the Samaritan Helpline at 116-123. If you're experiencing tough work situations, difficult school circumstances, stress, depression, emotional unrest, physical challenges, addiction, or if you just need to talk to somebody, please contact vets for vets at 530-794-8094. The resources mentioned in this video will be linked in the description box below. If you're interested in veterinary study note templates, check out my Etsy shop linked below. Now let's get on to the online veterinary educational resources. Sheridan College has an excellent and simple 3D canine skeleton model which is perfect for learning the entire canine skeleton. This includes the head, the hyoid apparatus, the axial vertebrae, the ribs, the forelimb, and the hind limb. Another great 3D resource for learning the canine skeleton is a real 3D anatomy virtual bone set developed by the CDSL and the University of Bristol. You can also view the content of the canine thoracic cavity, including the canine heart and lungs in this website. An excellent resource for viewing canine and feline dissected specimens is the carnivore anatomy coursework created by the University of Minnesota College of Veterinary Medicine. This website is perfect for learning anatomical directions, canine and feline musculature, bones, joints, nervous system, body cavities, and biomechanics. You can expect to find dissection videos, labeled cadaver images, interactive tutorials, cranial nerve quizzes, MRI and CT scans, anatomy concept checker, and much more. If you're looking for a fantastic resource to learn equine anatomy, check out Rooney's Guide to the Dissection of the Horse by Cornell University. Here you can find labeled cadaver images of the equine neck, thorax, abdomen, pelvis, forelimb, hind limb, and the head. This website is also a great resource for farriers with dissected hoof and limb cadavers. Another excellent resource for equine and bovine limb anatomy is Iowa State University College of Veterinary Medicine limb anatomy website. Here you can find radiographic and 3D reconstructions of equine and bovine limbs. If you're looking for a free atlas of normal imaging anatomy, check out this website created by the University of Illinois College of Veterinary Medicine. This website is not limited to small animal imaging. You can also find normal canine, feline, equine, and bovine radiograph images, as well as small animal dental imaging. If you're interested in learning canine-specific radiographs, check out this website put together by the Royal Veterinary College. Here, you can see normal radiographs of the thoracic cavity, lumbar region, the abdomen, limbs, and the joints. Finding a comprehensive online veterinary histology resource is no easy task. However, University of Pennsylvania School of Veterinary Medicine has an excellent database of histology slide sets. You can expect to find different epithelial classifications, connective tissue histology, bone, blood and bone marrow histology, blood vessels and nerve histology, lymphatics, glandular and muscular histology. You can also view histology of different organ systems like the respiratory system, stomach, intestines, liver, gallbladder, pancreas, urinary system, the eye, male and female reproductive systems. You can view each slide at different magnifications. Oklahoma State University has developed an extensive database of veterinary clinical parasitology images. Although the appearance of this website may seem outdated, it is an excellent resource with many macroscopic images for parasite identification. This is a useful website for beyond training years. Another clinically relevant resource is the CAPC website. The Companion Animal Parasite Council offers up-to-date parasite prevalence maps in the United States and Canada. You can also find expert parasitology articles, videos, and parasite guidelines. My favorite parasitology website is the Monster Hunter's Guide to Veterinary Parasitology. This website is one of the world's largest parasite image databases. This website has a modern look with more than 3,000 beautiful and high-quality parasite images. 
If you're looking for an amazing online clinical pathology website, look no further than the Cornell eClin Path. The web-based nature of this textbook means you can access it from anywhere with an internet connection. Here you can find an atlas with blood-related pathologies and artifacts, urine crystals, different tumors, neoplastic and non-neoplastic pathologies, organs and body cavity fluid cytology, and much more. Cardiology can be a difficult subject, especially for students with limited auscultation experience. Cardiac Education Group has a beautiful website filled with interactive case studies, videos, client handouts, and a free PDF booklet, ABCs of Canine Cardiology. Another excellent cardiology resource is the RBC Cardiac Virtual Patients Showcase. Here you can work through clinical cases and practice making a diagnosis and treatment plans while receiving expert feedback about your progress and decision making. If you're looking for an emergency medicine resource, check out RVC's Emergency Case Simulator. Here you will find cases based on true life emergencies met in the first opinion practice. Another excellent RVC resource is the Classic Cases in Veterinary Dermatology website. Here you will find many dermatology cases to work through. In each case, you will see the history of the animal, clinical signs, differentials, diagnostic tests, treatments, and the outcome. If you want to learn how to perform a comprehensive neurological exam, look no further than the Colorado State University Neurological Online course. This free course explains the differences between normal and abnormal neurological findings. Every step of the neurological exam course is accompanied with videos showing normal and abnormal proprioception, posture, responses, hopping, reflexes, nociception, facial responses, and eye movements. You can also find information about abnormal findings such as nystagmus and ataxic gait. One of the best anesthetic and pain management resources for small animal medicine is the Veterinary Anesthesia and Analgesia Support Group. Here you will find information about different drugs used for acute and chronic pain management and anesthesia from pre-opt through to recovery. This amazing resource also has principal drug dosage charts and educational videos. A fantastic dentistry resource is the RBC's Norman Johnston Veterinary Dentistry Program. In this program, you will learn about veterinary dental equipment, as well as preventative dentistry, periodontal diseases, surgical techniques, and dental radiographs. For a feline-specific resource, check out the European Advisory Board on Cat Diseases. This website contains many guidelines for feline medicine and infectious diseases. You can also find feline vaccine and blood transfusion guidelines here. If you're a fan of using flashcards when studying, you've probably already heard of Quizlet, but VetRevise is a flashcard website specifically designed for veterinary students. VetRevise has a built-in spaced repetition algorithm to help you learn information without the need to cram before the exam. You can also view flashcards that other vet students have made if you don't have the time to make them yourself. My next resource for you is VetGirl. VetGirl is a race-approved online continuing education website for veterinary professionals. The elite membership costs $249 annually, but it is completely free for veterinary students. On this website, you will find webinars, podcasts, how-to procedure videos, surgical videos, real-life rounds, and so much more. Another excellent clinical resource is the Veterinary Information Network. The individual membership for this website is $810 per year, but it's completely free of charge for veterinary students, residents, and faculty of veterinary schools. Here you can find thousands of veterinary and human medical journals, notes from veterinary conferences, message boards about student debt, repayments, what to expect from clinical rotations, how to prepare for licensing exams, and more. You can also try the exciting virtual clinic web application as well as surgical videos, student rounds, case studies, calculators, and many more. With a VIN student membership, you can also get free access to the high-tech interactive 3D veterinary anatomy software, iVala. This is an incredible website that you will love and use throughout your degree. If you're interested in world-leading education in natural veterinary medicine, check out the College of Integrative Veterinary Therapies. A free student membership gives you access to educational webinars, electronic CIVT journals, access to American Botanical Medicine Library, and much more. It can be hard to find veterinary clinical skills courses online, However, University of Minnesota College of Veterinary Medicine has a YouTube channel with clinical video tutorials and surgical videos. You can find animal handling techniques, injection techniques, suture techniques, surgical prep, scrub and gloving, blood smears and cytology, syringe handling techniques, blood collection, IV catheter placement, physical examination, and so much more.
North American Veterinary Licensing Examination Prep websites like Vet Prep and Zuko Review can be expensive but well worth the investment. If you're not ready to start preparation for your NAVLE, check out the Zuko Review free NAVLE question per day mailing list. Every day you will get a new multiple choice question in your mailbox plus detailed explanation of the correct answer. This is an excellent way to add clinical relevance to your veterinary teaching even if you're just starting out your preclinical years. If you have an Apple device, check out these free veterinary books by University of Georgia. These short iBooks are easy to read and have lots of beautiful visuals. Veterinary students are always searching for online resources to help them better understand the course material. Veterinary anatomy is one area where Google search will locate thousands of possible links for very few credible sources. One of the most credible veterinary anatomy resources is the OVAM. The Online Veterinary Anatomy Museum contains a rather large anatomy and histology database of the following species. Birds, cats, cattle, dogs, horses, pigs, rabbits, and sheep. The MSD Veterinary Manual is one of the most popular veterinary resources and one that you have probably already heard of. However, I thought it was worth mentioning as it has tons of useful clinical tools such as emergency drug calculators, IV fluid calculators, glucose curve calculator, anesthetic drug calculator, drug volume calculator, chocolate toxicity calculator, and canine morphine lidocaine and ketamine calculator. You can also find many case studies, quizzes, and reference guides here. Last but not least is Wikivet. Similar to the MSD Veterinary Manual, Wikivet is one of the most well-known veterinary educational websites. The free student membership gives you full access to the website. You can expect to find thousands of pages of content covering the entire veterinary curriculum, quizzes, flashcards, videos, and podcasts. If you would like even more veterinary resources, check out Wikivet's comprehensive list of educational links. Let me know which websites you like the most in the comments below. I hope you have enjoyed watching this video and have found it helpful. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time.